Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be taking a look at Dungeon Saga. But we're not going to take a look at any specific game. Actually, I'm going to go through all the contents that I received from the Kickstarter. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to go through, uh, and so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time going through rules or, or specifics, but I just want to be able to show you everything that came with the Kickstarter that I pledged for. So, let's dig in. Alright, so the first thing you see down here is a bunch of the furniture and the tables. Uh, they're just, they, they sit a lot, as you can see. Uh, so, like, there's a bookshelf, a door, armor rack, metal door, uh, just various things. And I got this, uh, it says Red Goblin Bigot. I got that from the Kickstarter. Orc Warlord. I got that from a Kickstarter. Uh, I'll start off with this box first, because if you notice, I got one, two, three, four, five, six book boxes. And so this one is the main game, which I will do a review of this one. And this one's just jam-packed full of stuff. Uh, let's see, there's the sleeve that goes over it. So that up there for now. Something like here are all the hero sheets. I even got a signed copy of Grund from uh, Ronnie. I had seen him at Gen Con, and got him, I was introducing myself to him, and he signed that for me. And I went back later and got all my adventure books signed, which I'll show you that here soon. And so like, here's the Dungeons Hogger rule book and everything. And then I had a 3D printer, and I was making these little compartments to hold all these miniatures. Uh, so there's a, you know, knight skeletons, or skeleton knights, however you want to say it. Uh, an undead shaman, orc shaman. More doors, more furniture. Uh, some of these doors are actually painted. I had a chance to paint these. Um, uh, dice. A troll, undead troll. Miniature in here. Banshee. And I have extra undead creatures in here too because that was part of the Kickstarter. And here's all the cards that you start with, and it's kind of neat how it says open these cards first, which we'll get more of that later. And here's all the heroes, as you can see, which you'll see better later. We have a wizard, a barbarian, an elf, and over here we have a dwarf. Just like in Hero Quest. These miniatures are a lot better looking than the, the miniatures with that game. They could easily transport them into that game. And then here's the skeletons with the, the sky. Just like a hero quest, and then here's a zombie walking around with a bone in his hand. Oh, I'm going to close that up for right now. The game is really neat. I'm looking forward to doing a review on it. If anybody hasn't seen it yet, uh, all the extra book boxes I got from the Kickstarter, they allowed us to buy more. However, they didn't tell us that some of them weren't going to be coming with the sheaths for the book box, which is kind of unfortunate. And so here's another box. There's a lot here, so just bear with me. <laughs> Alright. And so here we have the big dragon. This will go here. I obviously haven't played with this yet. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is glue this together and paint it. Uh, and it's just massive, massive wings, as you can see. Wow. Look at the size of that thing. That is. Oop. There we go. Massive, massive dragon. That would be great to play in your D&D adventures, wouldn't it? Look at that thing, it's huge. I have more heroes. I have extra heroes because they sent me extra heroes. 
It's like someone didn't know what they were putting in the box and just kept throwing stuff in there, which, you know, I'm not going to complain. And so, like, some adventures come with multiple of the, the multiples of the same kind of hero, so like the dwarf fighter or the human wizard, uh, which came in the original box. So it just allows me to paint different ones for the other heroes instead of having to swap them out for the heroes. And then here's a human paladin uh, here. He's going to be great painting. These, these things paint up really nice. Uh, making sure that you get all the oil off of them is uh, the tricky part. The best way to do that is to use uh, Dawn dish soap and some warm water and a toothbrush to nightly scrub them. And then here's the ability cards and all the, the deck cards for the Tyrant of Helpi, which is you know the dragon. Uh, and inside the box, Each each box is going to come with dungeon tiles. So, like, this one has huge dungeon tiles. And then each expansion is going to have the monster chart here. Uh, and talk. This one says uh, Kurathor, Kurathor, the Unbroken, which is the name of the dragon. And it's got his damage here and his stats here. So six movement and stuff. We'll go through this at a later date. Just kind of give you guys a look at it. Uh, another box. This is the, the Abyss expansion. So you have the different heroes, the Naiad, a uh, demon hunter, a lord of the abyss, a human cleric, human wizard again, and a human barbarian. So there's a human wizard of a green color, whereas there's a red and then there's a, a blue. And so here's another barbarian, here's another wizard, uh, here is the naiad. And then around here on the table somewhere is the cleric. And I found the cleric right here. So this will go, obviously you guys can't see it very well, but you can see that there's a bunch of stuff here. This will go in here. And so, start pulling out these red monsters, like these are all the abyssals. So you have the demons. Oh, this is going to be lower abyssals, flame bearers, succubus, hellhounds, tortured souls, efforts, and molosh. This is the big mulch here. Uh, and you got more cards, and these things here hold the dungeon tiles together. And these little inserts that kind of just separate everything. And so, just kind of bump them out here a little bit so you can see the tiles. So, <laughs> so here's the, the tiles, you know, the lava and fire and stuff. And there is the other tile that fell out. So just jump that out there. So we put the tiles back in. There no biggie. There we go. And also, this is the uh, Kickstarter exclusive dice bag with the Kickstarter exclusive dice. So that's a nice feature that came with the Kickstarter. I guess it makes sense to have the clear come in the Demons Adventure. But you know, even with the undead, it still would have made sense. Up some more of these. They do pop off their faces somewhat. I think the glue that they used wasn't the greatest, but that's okay because uh, you'll notice that some of my miniatures have uh, clear bases like this jester, undead jester. It's got a clear base. I think it's really nice so that we can see the tiles. That guy back in there. Let's see that. Go. Woo! Oh, forgot something else. Oh, 
right. some other boxes. Another Kickstarter exclusive box. This one just has a bunch of extra miniatures in it. Uh, because they gave you the option of buying some of the miniatures for their um, other war games that they have, miniature war games. Like this one is the Ancient Grudge Booster Pack. It says Metal Dwarf, Berserker, Elf Scouts, Sprue and Dead Sprue. Uh, I think Lords of uh, or Kings of War. I think is what one of their miniature games is called. So like, there's a sprue there. Like this box is just filled with screws of miniatures. Like they gave me so many miniatures. Like it's gonna take my lifetime to put all these together. I'm really interested in trying out that uh, Kings of War game. If I can find some way to try it with. When I got my box, there was actually two shipments. So I got half the stuff first, instead of when I was supposed to get everything at one time, but uh, that's because of just how the shipping went. If you followed the Kickstarter, you guys know that there's a lot of issues and problems. So here is like the uh, Orc Warlord. Uh, what's this one called? Uh, the Warlord of Gullaher. I'm not sure if I pronounced that or not, right or not, but I got Ronnie to sign it at Gen Con, as you can see, and we'll take a better look at that later when I go through the room of this. But you can see all these green miniatures, ogres and trolls. There might be some goblins in here. Uh, here's a salamander. It's almost like a dragonborn type that's considered a salamander. The sword's a little bent, but I can straighten that out with some hot water. Uh, here's another elf. Another dwarf. And this guy's kind of neat. I'm not sure he's a Kapaka. Ka it's a like Glade Walker Druid. It's like a tree guy. If you guys can see that really well or not, but he's really neat. And they got like you know cave type dungeon tiles, wilderness cards. <coughs> a lot of, there's definitely a lot of heroes to go through in this game. Pull out these books right now. And so, like, here's the the adventure book or quest book for the uh, Dwarf King's quest, signed by Ronnie. Which I need to go ahead and put that back in the box. And then I have like this little sign art thing here. It's got Ronnie's signature on it. Uh, the Tire and a Help High quest book with Ronnie's signature on it. The Infernal Crypts. That's another expansion, Infernal Crypts. The Ronnie's signature on it. This is the Return of Valador. Valindor. Uh, this has got like the main demon in it. Uh, this is like a little side one that they made that you can play with the undead miniatures. And a bunch of quests. If you can see here, it shows you how everything should be set up for the the dungeon master or the game master, or however you want to call it. And so, all this stuff you wouldn't see until they actually open that door. Uh, but everything's laid out real simple, easy to follow. The Valander is this guy right here. You can see him. And then the Adventure Companion, this, this is all, you know, signed by Ronnie, it says beer with a smiley face, because uh, the guy's sitting there cleaning out a mug with a dog, which I'm pretty sure I have that miniature too. But I, I use tabs to be able to sort through this, because this allows the board game to be more of an RPG kind of feel. It doesn't actually turn the game into an RPG, uh, but it allows you to level up and continue as a campaign, and so... Uh, that's one of the features of this book. Another feature of this book is that it allows for solo play, uh, allows for character creation, 
and stuff like that. Hero abilities and stuff for your hero collection. And then here's the dungeon journal. Uh, this tells you different adventures that you can go on, that you can make up using uh, some of the dungeon tiles. I don't think it's a Black Forest tile, but it might be. I can't remember what the Kickstarter said. However, I do have the Black Forest tiles here. I haven't opened them yet. But Dungeon Saga did make an adventure for them. I recently got the book for it because I wasn't going to download the PDF. I wanted the actual physical copy. Which I'm not taking that to Gen Con and having Ronnie sign it. And then I open up this box. And then here's your hero, hero sheets. These are for you when you make up a hero. I don't know if you guys can see that well enough. And here's the Valander card, the L, Undead Demon Lord. And then this one is Praetor of the, says Praetor of the Merchant, uh, Rescued Prisoner. There's no picture on it, but it's got his stats on there because it's part of the adventure. So here's some more doors. Uh, here's some more furniture. Here's some stone golems, which I, had, I started putting together already. One of the legs fell off. But I'll show you guys. This is some of the stuff that came with it. And we'll take a better look at this uh, another day, too. Here's another hero. Just tons and tons of miniatures. Like this bag is full of miniatures here. I showed you all those miniatures in the bags in that box. Here's some more sprues and some more miniatures. Uh, here's some more miniatures I have to put together. Uh, here's some bits and pieces that they do give you extra heads and make different faces on some of the miniatures. Here's some like uh, gargoyles here, uh, which I think I have one put together somewhere. Uh, here's the undead jester. He's on a clear base. There's that guy with the dog. Oh, there it is. What do you think of that? That's neat, huh? Alright. Here's some other ogres or trolls. I think that's what those are. Uh, another stone golem. Armor. Looking rack. Another troll, another troll. Uh, here is a goblin warrior. Here's a dwarf. He's an engineer. Uh, he's got. He's in this little book here, I do believe, where you can use him at. Uh, these are some of the invisible overlord cards, which allows you to play solo. Uh, these are the cards for. Uh, the Adventure Companion. It does come with a set of cards so you can do different things. You can do randomized dungeon. Um, and I think generating monsters or else on some of these cards. And here's some item cards. And then here is the Return of Valandor cards. And here is a Goblin Wizard. And here is a Dwarf Fighter with two axes. And then here's a vampire miniature. And these are exclusive uh, damage and res tokens, like skeleton piles that will res. A goblin thief. And here's Ba'el. So like, I started painting that, you can see, uh, and then like here's the cabinet, the bookshelf, which these could be easily used in Dun or, uh, Hero Quest. Uh, here is a werewolf, he's missing his base, 
Oh, there it is. It got knocked off. Another werewolf. Uh, and this also came. This is a some kind of war machine. This thing was crazy to put together. There was no instructions. I had to figure it out for myself. Uh, and there's all those little boxes too. These little boxes have more miniatures. So this one has like the rats, the bats, and the spiders in it. This one has legendary heroes of Double Garth. They're metal, or uh, I can't remember what, what kind of resin it is. That's definitely in there. Uh, more miniatures. Like, they just gave me so many miniatures. Like, I just think that they just went crazy. Because I'm thinking I got more than what I bargained for. And I got so many duplicates. Uh, and then, uh, look, more miniatures. And these are the legendary heroes. Uh, so, like, there's the legendary cleric. This is, I can't tell. Uh, that would be the legendary paladin. That's the legendary salamander. That's the legendary tree folk guy. Uh, and then this is an elf warrior sometimes. But I think that's all the miniatures I went through. I mean, I didn't go through everything, but I just kind of want to show you guys. Uh, show you everything that kind of came with it. Uh, I do believe this is everything that I have. But I will take uh, the time to go through each expansion. I'll show you guys the components. So let's take it up top. All right, so I mean, you guys did get to see everything that I got. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. I mean, obviously I showed you everything in bulk. I didn't break anything down, but I got a lot. Um, I can't tell you how much I paid for everything, but I just got so much content in a Kickstarter from uh, Maniac Games that uh, I, mo I was overwhelmed, still overwhelmed. The only game I actually have gotten to play is the Dwarf King's Hold. Uh, or Dwarf Queen, sorry, Dwarf King's Quest, um, and that one was fun. It's just finding the people and the time to play that one uh, is a little more difficult, um, but it was really fun and enjoyable. That's something we can go through at some, some point in time, uh, but that would be at a later date. And again, look at the size of this this dragon. It, it's just massive. I mean, I'm very happy with what I got. At the end of this video, you'll see a partial unboxing of the first box I got that did not have the main game in it. You guys are, are free to continue to watch that if you like. Uh, but again, if you like what you're hearing and like what you're seeing, please like and share. If you want to be a part of this channel, please subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. So it is romantic. And this should tell me what's in here. Plastic and metal board game. Plastic metal board game. Unit cost 314. Tell me what's in here. Supposed to be the carton B, or if there was another carton, because this can't be the main game. Okay. So, there is Green Mist, Mr. Pack. On the Dead Rising, Mr. Pack. So, I think I'm going to have to assemble. These are the traps. It wasn't checked off. So that's good that I got it. Not quite sure what that is, but it's some monsters. More monsters of some kind.
Ancient Grudge Booster Pack. Did I already see that one? And then... Good Rider. Some zombies. This one's a little heavy for its little box. There's some cool stuff. There's the dice bag. It's kind of small for what I expected. There's gun. Dungeon Avenger. Oh, those are doors. That's cool. There's a lot of little stuff in here. That's cool. Well, they don't. I mean, they don't. Dice. There's the furniture. There's a vampire. More furniture. There is the Twilight Assassin. There's a vampire. Dice. I'm not sure what those are supposed to be, but those are pretty cool. I think they're supposed to be skeleton piles. There's the jester, the undead jester. There's gun. Pack. That'd be fun to paint. And that is it. Oh wait, here's something. Here's Ravenna. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs>